so everybody can see what we're working with. All right. So our evil team will be Madeline Travis Kohav. And Bejbo is labeled as the drunk here. What did I have the drunk as? Hmm, that's weird. I had it as the dreamer before. What do we want to make Bejbo see himself as? We want to leave some good bluffs. Let's make Bejbo the bounty hunter. But he's drunk. So if you can look at below Town Square chat, you'll see we have eliminated most of the whisper channels. That is to go along with the theme of the game and some of the legacy elements. They won't have that many avenues to whisper. I would say that that normally takes away from evil's power. So there's going to be a special rule with the little monster token holders. They'll be able to make one statement to each other when they are handing each other the little monster token, the good players will not know of that particular rule change. Let's see what we got to if we got to do anything else on this particular setup. We got the drunk. We need to choose who Bejbo sees. I think I'm going to choose Fran. Is who Bejbo sees? Oh, okay. Does that make Bejbo evil? Oh, he's drunk. Okay. Mhm. Mm he's a drunkard. What uh, are the bluffs? Uh, well, they wouldn't get bluffs. Uh, oh, right, because it's little monster. Because uh, it's little monster. Yeah, but uh, I tried to leave some things in there for them to navigate through. So they're going to have they'll have a preacher available to them. There are some good info roles in play right now. I might want to switch that around. I know we believe in token integrity, but we got an we got a, a sober dreamer, a sober empath, and a sober oracle. So I'm going to change. I think I might might make Kev Kev the chef. Token integrity is out the window when we're talking about legacy because that's that's a very curated game for everyone. I think most people have missed out on this that the joke, the the token integrity joke, and the reason I I shot it with such fervor is because you and I initially had somewhat not a disagreement, but we had a, a difference of opinion on like when certain tokens could be moved for you know the benefit of, of overall play. And your stance, which is very valid, is well, you couldn't really do some of that stuff in a offline game. You couldn't move some of those things around. When somebody draws a thing, that's what they draw. You know, there's not a lot you can do. So, and I, I agree with that in a lot of instances. I just should have taken the empath out of the, out of the fucking bag. All right. That's my mistake from the get-go. All right. I like this setup. I think we are going to go up here and read them some of the introductory text. Well, so how are we doing the objectives? So we're going to go and tell the evil team when we meet them, and then we'll tell them kind of what some of their goals are for this particular game. To go ahead with what Capelli's saying, the evil team, the win-loss condition remains essentially the same for this game. The big difference is what the evil team does affects future scripts. So the evil team will be told that they will want to do a few things. They will want to have the little monster survive three-plus days. They will want to get three-plus good townsfolk executed or killed, and then they will want to have the lycanthrope specifically executed if that lycanthrope is in play. Those will affect future scripts based on how many of those goals they achieve, and if none, then that will affect the future script as well. You ready to go back up? Go back. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. oh. Good thing. Ravenswood Bluff. But not yet. But not yet. You are not yet. Ravenswood Bluff. You are the expeditionary force of the Grand Duke of Anolni, who have begun your journey with great ceremony and a parade of honors. You're a band of adventurers moving to rec reclaim the birthplace of the Luf. The sun shone brightly on this venture in the beginning. Rivers forded with ease, tight supply lines, and high morale shared by all. Then the sun went black, only for a moment, but still the confidence of the party was shaken. From that moment onward, the world was a darker and stranger place. Discipline in the camp broke down, the soldiers finding some sucker at the bottom of their cups. The animals bit at the bridle, the men fought amongst themselves, and the food stores spoiled and grew foul. All of that before you entered the forest so full of blackbirds that you mistook their feathers for leaves, the ravens would. Many abandoned the expedition then, and still more did when the wolves showed no fear towards the fire or steel. 
and they were too crafty for your traps. What people that lived close by were pressed into service as guides. By then, only half of the honored force remained to hear the hermit's warning to turn back. That was buried and guarded here would bring a fate worse than death. The leaders of the expeditionary force scoffed and ran the old man off, but the rank and file, they worried aloud at the ill omens. As they pressed deeper into the wood, the wolves attacked the camp at night, and then as they closed in on the bluff by the sea, the wolves stood sentry on the hills. Any illusions that things were just odd occurrence preying on your fears of the superstitious were dispelled when the chronicler of the expedition was found dead. They called it a heart attack, but the people that caught a glimpse of the body saw something very different, something violent, something diabolical. Oh, going to cottages. With this setup, we have a baron that has created more outsiders. We have a lot of outsiders in play. That gives the pit hag, once they know who their baron is, they can switch them around, do some funky stuff. It'll be fun. Let's gather up our evil team first, explain a few things to them, and then go from there. Hey, everyone. So, a couple special things that I would like to tell you as your evil team. You have a few mission objectives that you would like to achieve. The little monster, you want to keep it alive. That is your primary objective. You want to feed it at least three good townsfolk. And primarily, your other mission objective, if there is a lycanthrope in play, you want them to be killed by execution. Interesting. Got one, it. one special rule, you will get to make a statement, a single statement to one another each day. It cannot be, it's not a sentence, there's no clauses. So if you feel a comma coming on, shut that down. So you can make one single statement to each other before you choose who holds the token. An example of a statement would be something like, I am the blah, or so-and-so believes this. I am the poisoner. Uh, I am the pit hag. I am apparently evil fisherman. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this is... re <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah, technical difficulties. We'll be right back. I was concerned about us all three being in a row. I think hmm. the easiest solution here is we can swap Kohav and, the, and Wildstar, and we can... Well, we got to do something about Kev Kev, right? Because he's going to get a two instead of a one now. Well, I guess it would have been the same before a possible two, right? Welcome to the club, buddy. Oh, oh I've man. been, I've been, I've been right in your seat before. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, an auspicious beginning. Okay. Uh, we can also just change Kev Kev out for something else entirely. Let's make Kev Kev the mutant, and we'll turn Alejo into. Turn him to the Oracle, and then let's make Harmony the Empath. Let me bring everybody back up, and then I'll tell him I had to I make to some modifications some to the... Sure. Hey, everybody. So there's been a storyteller mistake, and I'm having to correct a few things, so I'm going to send you out a potentially new role, okay? <laughs> classic Capelli. <laughs> it was not a classic Capelli. This was a, a full-on Tyler, so... Into the oh, night soil. Oh, way to make her feel bad. And... Oh, no, 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 in that case, it's totally fine, Tyler. No, don't worry about it. We forgive Tyler. You go gather everybody. I'm going to go yell at Kev Kev. <laughs> you may make one statement to one another and then choose who holds the little monster token. I am still Poisoner. I am still the Pit Hag. I am Baron. Ooh, a Baron. Please point at each other to see who holds the little monster token. Madeline? Wild Star. Madeline. That's to uh, Madeline. That's what we're going to go with. Thank you so much. All right. Hola. Hey, Madeline. Yeah. It would be my pleasure if you would pick a player. I will pick Fran. You'll pick Fran? Ooh. Okay. Thank you so very, very much. Off we go. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Harmony. Hello. I wake you up. I look you dead in the eye, and I show you a zero. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Goose. Hello. 
you were the saddest fatality in Top Gun, but now you get to pick a player. I'll choose Fran. You choose Fran, and you are shown either the Poisoner or the Lycanthrope. Thank you. Thank you. Vejbo. Hello, Tyler. I wake you up in your dark, mirrored glasses, and I point to Fran. Fran. Well, the show's on the road. This is not going to be easy. All right. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. So let me clear. The evil team has all of their objectives? Yes. So their objectives remain the same, and we told them that before. The objectives are the little monster needs to survive more than three-plus days. They need to kill by execution or feeding it three-plus good townsfolk. Outsiders don't count to that particular mission. And they want to, if a lycanthrope is in play, they want to get them executed. So if you couldn't tell by the narrative, one of the things, it was a little obfuscated, I'm sure, this traveling group, this expeditionary force, has left their homeland uh, and been sent to go find the ancestral homeland. And what they find is a place almost bereft of people because the only folks that live there now are a tribe of shapeshifters, of lycanthropes, werewolves, moon children that try to keep evil bound to this place. The evil minions, as you can see, represented by the pit hag, the baron, and the poisoner, are a part of the expeditionary force intending to come here and upset that balance, release that evil. So that is what is at play right now. Morning camp. It was I, your chronicler, and my loyal assistant, He may have looked like an imp, but he was really just a cool man. Me and Capelli are dead. Please, take some time and discover who did this for the sanctity of our camp and our mission. So do we only have two Whisper Channels? Yes, there are only two Whisper Channels. (laughs) What What is a rope line? I don't know what a rope line is. It's where you keep your horses. Oh, where you keep horses. Uh, Oh. Uh, Wildstar, oh. would you like a chat? Can we chat in that in game? Cody, do you want to chat in one of the whisper channels before we fill the Let's go. Okay. Wait, wait, wait we got you. Oh, sure, Madeline. Or later. Yeah, we'll... Let's okay. be quick so we can be cognizant of other yeah, people. Yeah, let's, let's be kind. Do you want to just hard claim one for one? Yes, I would love to, but you have to go first. Balloonist. Fisherman. Fisherman? Awesome. Okay. Yes. Great. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to share? Uh, no, haven't used it yet. Uh, do you want to tell me your name? Uh, I do have glasses, and I do want one of your neighbors to die. Oh, Bonnie Hunter? You're playing yeah, that? Fran. Fran as evil? Okay, I'm yep. down for it. It's always hard to kill Fran, though, so good luck with that. I'll help you, though. What are you? Um, I'm the general, and I've heard that in neither team so far. All right, well, I'd appreciate being on Fran if it's at all possible. I was gonna come out and then I realized that there's Pit Hag and Poisoner and Assassin. So even though the demon can't choose kills, they can still mess with us. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I'd be down for that. I can say that in the general who got a good is winning because of Bonnie. Well, no, I think Bonnie Hunter generally leans towards evil anyways. I'll just keep with my real info, which is neither. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to make me happy, you'd just say you were the empath and push on Fran, but you know. Okay, Whatever you, you want to do. Oh, yeah, 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 I can do that. I can do that, sure. Yeah. All right, thanks. Yeah, take care. Be fine, because then I would be dead. Um, I would be, okay, I will tell you when I am okay being targeted. Yeah, sure, okay. Sounds good. All right, but it will um, come at a point. Also, I would appreciate it if you asked other people, and then we found people are cool with it. Okay, are you hard claiming that? Sure, why not? Okay, sure. Great. I'll ask it's around if I... Yeah. Get anything? Mm, I don't know. I, I'm going to tell you this much because this is what I was planning on telling people afterwards. I did wake up first night. Sure. Okay. I'm happy. Uh, Harmony can join. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Sure. Let's go. <gasps> come, Harmony. Oh, come on, Harmony. Come on, Wait. Harmony. Hey. Hi. So long. Hello. Welcome to Legacy. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so excited. Welcome to the pit. Hello. So I'm going to tell you guys that I am the empath and I got a zero. 
Oh, excellent. Okay. The preacher? I'm just going to trust ball you? Oh, if you're the preacher. If you're the preacher and we don't show Fran, can you preach Fran? Fran was singing a, um, a ping. Ooh. Uh, all right. I'm down for those. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. If we don't do a Fran, I'm probably going to nominate Fran. Hey, go ahead. Hello. Um, I was just wondering if I can tell people what role I had in the game before I got a new role. Or if I should... Sure, if you did not. Pardon? We would prefer if you did not. Okay, sounds good. I haven't told anyone, but yeah. Thank okay, you. thank you. Were you coming to use your ability or just to ask that particular question? Uh, I'm going to keep it for now, but I'm... Because I know fisherman advice isn't super useful on the first day because you don't know where the game is going. But I'm thinking of using it maybe tomorrow and then like getting cannibal executed so we can ask another piece of advice. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That's good because I thought you wanted to use your ability. I'm like, I have no idea what to say. Fisherman advice is, is tough at the best of times and it can be even tougher when you when nothing has happened so far. So, Thankfully, she's aware of that. Yeah. Execute on the right side of the circle. Boy. <laughs> That'd be very powerful advice. Anyway, we're going to go check out what's going on. I trust you, Andrew. You're fine. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Yep. Thanks. All right, I'm going to uh, see if I can grab a rope line. Can one of you two bring up the lichen thing, see if anyone's cool dying at night? Yeah, I will go ahead and ask around. Yeah, and if one of Beshbo or Laurent say that they are, then they're dead. Okay, let's go. Cool, cheers. All based on their bluffs, That's if I true. give a bluff and a three for three. So if the spy knows my role, they know everything. So I don't mind doing three for threes, right? Because there's demon fair. no bluffs. Yeah. So I can tell everyone my three if people want. Uh, Go yeah, for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, preacher, chef, fisherman. Oh, preacher, my. chef, fisherman. Uh, I'm, for those of you who weren't around, uh, I'm happy to repeat um, balloonist, empath, oracle. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Same three as Alejo. Um, I'm going to publicly claim. Three as Alejo. Uh, wait, wait, wait. See... What, what, what Alejo was? Can you repeat, please, quickly, Believe Alejo? Empath and Oracle. I'm going to publicly claim because I think a lot of townsfolk could get screwed up on me. I'm the recluse. Fair enough. Oh. Uh, also, a valid choice if there are any uh, lycanthropes around. Well, the kill my not don't because of Oracle. That doesn't do anything because they might not I mean, really yeah. don't want Andrew to die because of Oracle early. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah, that's all so fair, actually. Do we if have any nominations a... today? The best so, uh... Are, wait, are they open? They are. Wait, don't nominate right away. Yeah, is there okay. any other info people want to share publicly? Or, like, who do you intend to nominate? And then we can talk about it. And... I have a nomination. You know what, Kevin, go ahead. Wait, go for it, Madeline. Well, not now, but... Uh, uh, Aleo nominates Kohav. Aleo, you've nominated Kohav. Please state your case. Uh, probably the pit hag. I'm not the mutant, but probably the pit hag. Kohav, what's your defense? If I was the pit hag, I'd be having more fun. Um, I, oh, that's rude. if, if I, <laughs> not an offense to anyone, um, like, I'm also going to take this opportunity to defend going into a whisper. Um, I think that limiting everyone to not allow them to whisper makes the game less fun. Um, and also you have to sell a trust with someone. So I might as well go and blind claim. Um, if you think. I'm a minion who randomly found my spy first thing. Feel free to kill me. Um, but I don't think that we should be executing people who just want to talk. The voting will begin with Andrew. Uh, I'm willing to get Lycan killed, but I'd like to talk to the Lycan first. Well, I don't think the Lycan had the opportunity to talk with anyone, if there is one. Three is not enough. So, uh, I'll nominate Fran. Kev Kev, you've nominated Fran. Please tell us why. Hello, I'm going to come out, because uh, I think the role is strong enough. I'm the bounty hunter, and my first pain is Fran. Oh. Fran, what's all your right. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I can prove myself. Kev is lying. Thanks. Okay. Can Hello. we execute you, though? 
No, I'm the cannibal. Voting will commence with Goose. Why are there so many votes in this? Excuse me. This is a bad kill. We really shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, this is I... a bad go. Uh, this is interesting, actually. This is a lift. Yeah, I need yeah. One. Six votes is enough. Fran is marked for execution. Do we have other nominations so, today? So, the bounty hunter learns their evil player after the minions assign the little monster token. So, even if Fran is evil, he's probably not the demon today. I think Lycan should pick Fran, right? I think that's the best use, if anything. Is I strongly it? disagree. It gives the bounty hunter a new name, no? Hmm. Do we have I'm any other nominations her. today? Okay, yeah, friends can third. Friends can third. Good. Andrew, friend has like in third. Andrew nominates Kev Kev. Andrew, you've nominated Kev Kev. I, yep, I believe Fran's claim just now. I don't think, but Kev Kev is the bounty hunter. Kev Kev, can we hear your defense? Uh, we can tie. Is someone dreamed Fran as a lichen throw? Who said that? You missed it. Okay. Tough. Somebody did. Have you willing to tie? Fran didn't claim lichen throw. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, Fran claimed cannibal at first. Fran claimed cannibal. Oh, no, I lied. Voting will start with. Yeah, let's kill Fran. Voting will mm. start with Fran. And it'll take six to tie, seven to beat. I think mm -hmm. we should kill. Right now, it's going to tie. Well, don't tie. Well, we should have saved our nomination on me because uh, I'm not the worst kill. Kev, seven Kev votes. put himself on the block. Kev, Kev, no oh, like no. Kev, Kev is evil. If it yeah. ties, it's not good. But why are you willing to die as the bounty hunter? Um, Laurent nominates Madeline. Laurent has oh. nominated yeah. Madeline. Please tell us why. Um, I think we're right now on a tie. Uh, no, seven. We're not. Um, wait. Yeah, seven, I think. I'm not sure. I think we're not on a tie. So, Madeline was one of the players that was more into chatting really quick with people. Um, I think there is some players that didn't uh, feel the need to chat because there is no role such as uh, Washwoman or something like that on the script. There is Dreamer, though. Uh, but still, I think that most of the chat can be made publicly. And I want to hear Madeline. Madeline? I just was doing it out of force of habit. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Okay. Voting will start with Wildstar. It'll take seven to tie, eight to beat. So Harmony, why did you feel it was so important to get Fran off the block we for your willing to play? Risking another tie. Um, because he's the one claiming Lycanthrope and we wanted a Lycanthrope to kill someone, but... Five votes is not enough. Madeline is safe from execution. Do we have any other more nominations today? Are we going to kill someone who put the deciding vote on? Kev Kev put the deciding vote on himself. So. Yeah. I've been more wanting to kill Harmony at this point. I'm going to close the day. And I'm happy to Matthew kill myself. Harmony. I nominate myself. Harmony has nominated themselves. Please tell us why. Real uh, fast, I'm the mutant. Real fast, I'll come out as a mutant. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't want to save Kev anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of opinion on Fran, nonetheless, but I am the mutant. I'm fine dying. That's why I nominated myself. Uh, that's why I put the vote so hard. It... Harmony, can you go on with your accusation and defense, um, please? Well, I did want to save Kev because he was the deciding vote on himself, but if he is claiming mutant, this is... I don't think killing me is worth it. Voting will begin with Laurent. We'll take seven to tie, eight to beat. Well, our cannibal's going to have a fun day tomorrow. Just don't, for the love of God, cannibal, don't say, I might be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, well you, uh, cannibal could confirm themselves by, by that because there's no Sarah Novus. That is true, um, actually. Cannibal can confirm two people tomorrow. I am going to close the day in five, four... Hannibal, Three, if you're in deep shit, two, think about it. One. Kev Kev has brought before you all, when deciding who could be behind this preposterous crime, you all point at him, and he says, points at himself too, and then that's all it takes. He is executed, hung from the neck, and dies. Everyone, the game continues. Please go to sleep. All Interesting right. day. Interesting day. Wild.
claiming, but Madeline and Travis have both avoided double claims, which is going to be uh, very indicative of a spy game. Yeah, Travis, I heard you say balloonist. Uh, I don't Madeline know. Madeline is Madeline's going preacher. Mm -hmm. um, so Wildstar could safely go for chef, general, cannibal, soldier. Um, or one of the several outsiders. My gut is um, if Wildstar hasn't claimed anything, she will be the spy by the end of the end of the night. That would be my guess, but I don't know that for a fact. Yeah, right. I mean, if she, if she took Cannibal, boy, they're in a good spot. Yeah, that would be good. Would, All right, let's go ahead and uh, right. visit uh, Madeline first. And then get our little monster well, tokens we, together. We, we pull them all together. Uh, wait, no, what's the night order? Is little monster first little mon before the kill? Uh, mm -hmm. No, little monster goes. Yeah, because after Lycan throws him, we'll bring all the evil together. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask Madeline if, who her poison would be. Madeline. I. In a world where you have the ability to poison someone, who would you poison? Oh god. Old Appalachia. Um, thank you so much for the reset. I... We appreciate you. Very cool. Um, anyways, I'm gonna poison Laurent. I'm gonna poison Laurent. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Hey, Travis. Hey. -o. You should pick a player and then pick a role. Uh, before Little Monster happens. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Wild Star is the spy. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Fran. Hello. You are our were dolphin for the evening. Could you pick a player? Um, I don't want to do it, but I think Harmony... Harmony claimed Empath, but she was also like... It would make more sense for me to die early for my information to be credible. So I think she's probably good, but I'm going to pick Harmony here. All righty. Thank you so much. Thanks. Wildstar, you are now the spy. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. We got one of a straggler. There we go. All right. Uh, minions of evil. You can make one statement to each other and then decide who holds the token. I think poison to peer. I'm hard claiming balloonist. I poison the rods. All right. Please point at who will hold the token. Wildstar? Travis? No. <laughs> Uh, Travis, sure. All right. Travis, it is. Thank you so much. Please back to your cottages. Goose, I once asked you to make tell me what a tapir sounded like, and you did that demonstration. Would you like to make a goose noise for me? Uh, Wonderful. Now you get to pick a player to dream of. Uh, I'll pick Bejbo. You look at Bejbo, and you are shown either... The spy or the drunk? Thank you so much. Good call. Good call. Thanks. All right. We got to do an Alejo Oracle. Let's find a Larry. There they are. There they are. Alejo, I wake you up and I show you a zero. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Bejbo's ping did not die. And we got to go to Wildstar. All right. Let me take a screenshot here. Ready for the Grim? Sure. Don't sound so excited. Oh, Tyler, you need to remove the uh, to be executed ping off of Kevin. Mm, oh, yeah. So we'll go. Tonight, phase. You also probably want to hide the nominations being seen by other people. 
Okay, Travis is fine. I'll take Travis being fine. Uh, what are you, uh... Oracle. Like, the three balloonist empath oracles meant that this was probably very bad. Alright, well, good luck to you. Yep. Well, it's a it's a tough position because they couldn't. They I think their best chance to get Fran on the block may have been yesterday, but they'll we'll see if they keep pressing on him or not. I mean, it doesn't change the fact that um, there's going to be no double claims, so they're going to think spy. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't change the fact that Bejbo is going to continue to go after Fran, right? Um, yep. So the only I mean, the only thing that you get is is I think you're seeing a a block that forms around Fran and Goose as a team. And so that might be where they push and say, well, y'all y'all are really backing each other up, but there's nobody else backing you up right now. Did I understand that Wildstar plans to claim Oracle? Wildstar is saying that she claimed in a three-for-three three balloonist Oracle or Empath. Oh, yikes. So she's, I think she's a little hedged in and, and maybe letting Travis have the balloonist after all. Be smart since he has the token, which is why she was so adamant about don't do not give her the token. Not That's him. a shame if she could if she can somehow pivot onto Chef and, and say like a Chef one, that puts her that puts the evil, evil team in a really good spot. But yeah, she she's got a lot of opportunity to make make a move on that. So hopefully she does she doesn't stick too hard and just try to get in a weird battle with the Oracle. Let's go on up. Good morning, Camp. You awaken to find that Harmony has died in the night. Well, that'll make all those people who claim the same three for three easier to differentiate. <laughs> well, okay. Um, I would quite like to talk to our dead players um, and also any one other person who wants to. Just uh, I'm okay. not exactly the evil team. Uh, by the way, yeah, I, I just I'd, want to. Yeah, that's fine. Want. I don't want to chat with Fran plus two other people. So how we do? Are we gonna do these? Yeah. Three? How do people want me to claim? Uh, I want at least you two, but yeah, I'm the oracle. Uh, well, sorry, knows my claim, Fishbow. I'm the dreamer. I saw you as the drunk. Um, so I, I could have been poison sniped them, but shrug. Damn it! That makes sense. I mean, unless you're the spy, I'm the bounty hunter. Yeah, I figured. Um, Pure already calling, knows this, but I am the Oracle. Yeah, I think Fran called calling the role I saw him as and pivoting to something, but more so pivoting to something that I saw him as is either is probably good. I think that if Fran is evil, he's probably the evil I can throw. Did you guys whisper yesterday? Uh, me and Wildstar yeah. whispered. I oh, said, but not I with that, Andrew. Not Fran, yeah. I oh, told Andrew, the Andrew wanted Andrew. to share that he was reckless. So Fran's at least the I can throw. And what evil role am I? Uh, spy, which I don't believe. Lol, yeah. I don't believe. <laughs> I'd be sure evil spy. role was Fran. Well, all right. So that okay. means that there's a Baron, if Andrew's telling the truth, and there's one more outsider out there. Well, it's just up to you all if you, just, if you trust Bejbo or if you trust Fran. Right? Unless Bejbo's the drunk, fair. Hi, I want my fisherman info, please. Okay, let's take a look. Let's look into the rivers of wisdom, shall we? Yes, I would like to. It's it's you don't isn't the lore I, I catch a fish and it like speaks to me. It's like this is the portrait about the game, and then I'm like, oh that's so cool. I throw it back in the water. That is the British lore. Let's see. What's the I think American it's, lore? Maybe well. Yeah, it's, it's like one of those big mouth bass on a plaque, you know? And it starts singing. You press the button and it starts oh. singing at you. But this time yes. it spits out verse that tells you things that you can find useful. That seems more American to me. That's All right. so good. Also not canonical in the legacy. So anyway, uh, we'll figure it out. Your advice is trust your every night information rolls. Every night. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Can you not hear me? The spy is an every night info roll. Spy 
and also register is good. True. Thanks for the info. Uh, only thing I realized is that the wild star is going to is double claiming Oracle, right? So I think technically, spy registering is good counts for that that fisherman info. So why not? It does help for it does help in that case. So that's an ability of the spy for sure. All right. Cool. All right. Okay. And I'm still sticking with mutants, so it's not that one of them's a mutant. Honest. If we if we have a saint, I actually think it's a really good idea for them to come up. Five, don't four, have a saint, three, two, one. No saint. Thank you. We most likely have a drunk. I think we have a bearing game. Um, either that or Laurent is evil. Whoa. So, Thanks for I, outing people. Yeah, you just outed Laurent. I have a role for Laurent now that I didn't have before. Um, I don't know why you would keep that secret here. There's not going to be a good use for it. It's going to come up as soon as you're on the block. I think yeah, it's more likely we have a Baron What's game. What's going to happen? The poisoner's um, going to pick you? Like, I think Assassin <laughs> had a few That's good targets yesterday. As well as... Has anyone been pit hacked? No. Then less likely to be pit hacked, I think. Um, have we heard of a cannibal in town? I haven't heard of any. Rumors. We have not heard of a cannibal? I'd rather go for evils. Okay. Day of the year. Uh, uh, are open? Nominations are open. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm going to nominate Wildstar. Alejo, you've nominated Wildstar. Tell us why. Uh, we're in a double claim. Um, we should both be killed. Uh, obviously, from my perspective, I'm going to prefer Wildstar first because it's a little monster game. We might accident uh, or might randomly hit the demon, but obviously the same is true for me. There's no evidence for either of us over the other, so... Wildstar? Might as well, it doesn't matter. Go ahead. Sorry. I mean, same logic as Alejo, unless there is info out there that I'm not aware of. It's kind of our arbitrary which one of us do you kill first voting will begin with travis take five um, a lot, a lot of, of votes on that we don't yeah. need all of these all right got it i've heard one piece of info on alejo five votes is enough wildstar is on the block do people care if i nominate alejo or is it not worth risking a tie uh, Ty's info. I don't mind if you nominate, but I'm probably not going to vote. I will nominate Alejo. Wildstar, you have nominated Alejo. Do you have any more to add, or do you want to say more on your accusation? Arbitrary. If you... I mean, even if you kill Alejo today, you'll kill me tomorrow, so I really don't care. Okay. Uh, Alejo, what's your defense? No, I don't feel I need to give one. All right. Voting will start with Madeline. It will take five to tie, six to beat. Mm. Two is not enough. Alejo is safe for today. Do we have any other nominations? No picnic. No picnic. Ew. That's too bad. I had all these sandwiches made. Oh. All these snacks. Oh, I am going to have to eat them all. All right. Give me one of the sandwiches. I'm going to close the day in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wildstar is brought before you and executed. No one has a picnic on that day because it is a grim day for Wildstar has died yet. This whole horror show continues. Please, everyone, go to sleep. What's the name of our new whisperer? It's going to be called The Chronicler's Tent. Yeah, you, you did it. All right. Good job. All right. So, um, here we go. We're going to go to Madeline. Madeline got some useful information out of knowing Laurent's an outsider. She may not poison them again. Let's see. Madeline, would you <laughs> like to choose a player? I'm going to choose Fran. You choose Fran. Thank you so much.
Travis, it would be a pleasure for me to hear what player and what role you choose for them. Hmm. It's a tough one. Um, I'm going to make myself the assassin. Okay. Hold on one second. Travis, you are now the assassin. I... <gasps> Who would do that? <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Good to know. All righty. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Nope. Nah. All right, so nah. now... Yeah, we're going here. Hey, Fran. Hello. You get to pick a player. I'm going to pick Alejo. Fran has chosen Alejo. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right, now we're going to go back up to Travis. All right, I got this. All right, you're dragging me? Well, we got to do Travis's okay. ability first, right? No, we collect them all for okay. consultation on the token, and then we kill on the little monster, and then, and then we go assassin. Travis. All right. All right. You may make one statement to one another. Poison the hell out of Tapir, please. I poisoned Fran. Uh, I'm now assassin. All right. Who holds the token? Travis? Me. Travis. We'll Thank see. you so much. Okay. Uh, so the poisoned lycanthrope chose Alejo. Let us a kill instead. Koha's got a little bit of sauce on her. I mean, we could kill her. Uh, I'm of the opinion we should take out a outsider, probably Laurent. Okay. So Laurent, we... when he when he learns he would die, he would pick a player, and then they might die the next. If they're good, they would die. Right. Alternatively, we could kill Andrew, give Alejo a one, and they won't know what minion Wildstar is. Well, Wildstar is going to get a... It, yeah, they probably wouldn't believe Wildstar's a spy anyway, right? Because uh -huh. when we give Alejo a, a, a zero, that's going to be... That's going to raise some eyebrows. Then Alejo didn't die. So it might just look like Leo's a minion. It's an interesting question. Um, I think Laurent's an interesting well, kill. Yeah, let's yeah. go with Laurent then. Let's okay. just go with Laurent. Uh, Alejo's going to say he got... We'll tell him one, right? Because he, they're in a double claim, so why wouldn't he? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll yeah. Spy just a little longer. And then we'll go... Let's go to Travis real quick. Yep. Hello, Travis. Would you like to use your ability? Uh, not today. All right. Thank you so much. And that makes sense. He's holding the token. He needs to survive till the next day anyway. It'd be good. To, I think that dreamer is, is causing them some grief. But uh, Actually, I really, I really kind of am surprised they didn't go for, for uh, the dreamer there. Or goose to peer. Mm -hmm. But all right. Okay. Yeah, they keep we'll saying Tapir for anybody at, in, in chat who may not know who they're talking about. That's Goose. Goose. He, Tapir's advice was trust your nightly info rolls. Mm -hmm. Your every night info roll, which at this point just points at the Dreamer. The Dreamer. Would have pointed at the roll, but. Yep. They did, they they did, did. do a good job of confounding the Oracle uh, information, I guess. Putting suspicion on Alejo. I don't know how much benefit that'll that'll be for him, but maybe Alejo will die today. And that'll be very the least. It gets two executions out there. Yep. <clears throat> Fran's going to think Alejo's suspicious, and Alejo's probably going to think Fran is suspicious. So that's good stuff going to go on. All right, let's go talk to Goose. Hello. Hey Goose, would you like to pick a player? 
I'll pick Madeline. You pick Madeline, and I show you the poisoner or the preacher. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was right. That's what Madeline was claiming. Yeah. I guess at this point, it doesn't really matter what the dreamer does, right? They're just going to see what evil's bluffing, or they're going to see. Yep. It's so like we could poison him to make him, I don't know, like that. I mean, Dreamer, in my opinion, Dreamer is really only good in this format of, of gameplay. It's really only good for the first couple of nights. Yeah. Well, it's good because it, it got Fran off the block. And it and it and that's yeah. that's a big that's benefit huge. for the, yeah. the good team. So uh, let's go talk to Alejo. Hey, Alejo? The, oh, hello. The, your, two, your two clock Lord, tower dads waking you up. you up and show you in unison a one. Lovely. I right. wasn't expecting to see you today. This is not good news. All right. Thank you so much. Sorry, I, I cut in there because your voice was cutting in and out. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. Let me f Either. All right. Well, let's go up. I got you. All right. Let's do it. Uh, at, at any point, should we start like hinting that the evil team gets to whisper? Uh, in to the each play other test, in the we've only done it at the end of the game. We've told them after the fact. But um, uh, I don't know if you wanted to say like some of you start hearing whispers in the in the middle of the night outside your tents, something like that. Oh yeah, we can do that. We can do a flavor tech. Right. Sure. You do that, and I guess introduce the chronicler's tent. All right. Are the first two people that go, or the first person that goes? We're gonna check for the first person that walks in. Good morning, camp. Uh, you heard whispers walking by your tent at night, and then you awake to find that Laurent has died. Mm, I don't like that. Uh, I would like to claim Moonchild, and um... you should pick me. I would. I think I'm the best choice. I don't know why I didn't pick die today. Andrew too. He might not die. Yeah, part of me, part of me, want to confirm myself. With the ability rather than, um, I think you're confirmed, Laurent. Just pick Alejo. Well, okay. do we want to execute Alejo by nomination or no? I mean, well, we're gonna this do both. Works. See, that's smart. Yeah. Okay. This gives us info way. way better. Well, well, first, first, Fran, did you pick me? Uh, no, I chose Alejo, but I could what? be poisoned. I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, it oh, could Alejo. be bad. Are we okay with me picking Fran? No. 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 Okay, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna pick a layho, yeah. I'm gonna pick a layho. Alright, Laurent as the moonchild has chosen Alejo. King Alejo is just procrastinating killing an evil player another day. Sure, but we as might the, hit another evil player today. Yeah. We will yeah, find and Alejo might better. drop dead, so yeah. well, also Alejo wouldn't get star? Alejo won't get the doll token anymore. Anyways, I guess, okay, that's fair. Um, For the first two days after the I death like... of your Chronicler, I have one more announcement, and then we'll talk. Uh, All right. For the first two days after the Chronicler's death, um, you all stayed away from his tent. Now that his body has been removed and interred, uh, his tent is now open, and people have started to go in and out. Oh. So, yeah, we have another Whisper channel. Hooray! I looked at this thought yesterday, um, but before we had another Whisper channel, so I don't know if we still want to do it, but I said we could put Kev in one Whisper channel, Harmony in another, and if there's another good player we trust, I guess we can put them in another channel, and then no matter where people whisper, there'll be a good player there. I would trust Fran to be in the third channel. Do you trust me over Fran? Or do you trust I'm the bounty hunter, and I've seen Fran as evil. Yeah, I trust the run over me. I'm fine with that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I only missing two rolls. Wait, what I just yeah. claimed that? Was that Alejo? That was Bejo. Sorry? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm Come the bounty hunter. Sorry. <laughs> Alejo, what did you get? Uh, I got a one. Oh, of course. Unsurprisingly. Oh. Um, oh, why did yeah. I ask? Yeah. 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 Um, uh, well, that shows the want is good, right? If you're saying Wildstar is evil. Well, that wild card yeah. speed is high, but that would make two evil dead. Thank you so, so much for these subs. Yeah, because I, I cannot be the the uh, an evil townsfolk if Beshbo is really the the come on the bounty hunter. 
So that could make Wild Star the spy. But that's the only point of view here where, the, where I'm evil. And if I'm the spy, I already know all, everybody's role. Um, what I'm suspicious of is uh, we have the peer, we have Madeline, and we have Travis that has not claimed a role publicly. And I'm waiting for them to do so because it's probably going to tell us if we have another. Uh, I have friend. Travis's role. Um, yeah, I would be willing to talk with. Mm, I was going to say Fran, but yeah, he might. Just has Madeline that. claimed to anyone? Um, Claim to Kev, Kev. Okay. The, person, the person I'm most suspicious Ooh, uh, of Kev is Harmony, you want to go? Yeah. Okay. I, w- I would like to talk to you, Kohav. Can I join? Uh, I will actually just say. Um. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> um. I hope I remember it correctly because I did not write it down. Um. It was trust the... Uh, Recurring information rules. Great. I want to and show I said, what I am. <laughs> wait. And then I said, hey, Teller and Capelli, spy is an ongoing info role. And they said, <laughs> spy can register as good. <laughs> to your information as well. Trust yeah. the spy. Hi, everybody. Spy here. Uh, I want to tell everybody I'm balloonist and I want to share the info I got because I think one of them is worth going after for sure. What is it? Um, I've gotten three nets of info so far. Alejo, then Goose, then uh, Andrew. Who's the dreamer then? I thought someone said that they dreamer from friend Fran. Yeah, that was Goose. Well, he could still be evil. Like, in- oh, that was Goose? Okay, well, that, that, okay, that fits. Alejo, Goose, Andrew? Well, your info is not great because you saw Andrew. Yeah, I know. Um, it could be. Well, I... But I, you didn't see point, Andrew as the townsfolk, so we've got that. Yeah. How many outsider claims do we have? Because I think that a Baron and a Balloonist is kind of ridiculous. I have three. Account. Okay. I have three, um, right? Andrew, Laurent, me? Same, yeah. Uh, unless one, there's a drawing, then there's four. Obviously, I could just be Baron covering as Balloonist, but it makes me inclined to think it's not a Baron at this point. Yeah. Trust the recurring oh, information. Gentlemen, before you begin to talk, which one of you was the first one in here? Oh, um, good question. Probably Fran. I'll say Fran. I think he is. Noted. Thank you. Please continue. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so I have info of some description from everyone, but Madeline, do you have anything from her? Yeah, me too. Uh, except I don't have Travis's claim. Her- Hey, are you hey. the preacher? Yes. I had the feeling. Uh, now, by the way you acted, I had the feeling you were the preacher. Um, That's nice. Good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because you're a bad liar. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm wrong in my mind, and I just want to plug it by nominating someone and be like, Because you're a bad liar. Okay. okay, do that um, to literally everyone. And I don't know. I'm dead. I cannot do that. Um. Okay, I'm so tired. Uh. So who have you preached? I pre- preached Kevka, Fran, and Alejo. Fran and Alejo, can you pee? Can you pick Travis tonight? Absolutely. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Mm-hmm. I don't trust yeah, Travis. Okay. Uh, I'd like to well, get their info, but yep, yep. Yeah. All right, thanks. Uh, let's see. Okay. After video. Uh oh, Bejbo. As you enter Hello. the chronicler's tent, you find a chest of his belongings, and seeing as he's dead. He doesn't have as much use to him, and perhaps some of these documents might be of use to you and your your current predicament. Um, oh you my. find a a set of scrolls that are that he was entrusted with on this expedition, and they read combined. They are called the invocations of the travelers along the road to hell. Oh my God! 
you may, uh, it is your choice, choose to read aloud the invocation of one of these travelers and activate that ability. Would you like to read that document and activate and invoke the traveler? I would. When you've been around for as long as I have, you learn to pick your opportunities when you see them. The invocation reads as follows. We were all pilgrims, travelers bound for damnation. I, Uriah, was the least of the party, but at the campfire some gave of their own bounty. You can tell a good egg from a bad egg when they share freely. You speak to wor the words to invoke the spirit of Uriah the beggar. Into the first of the gallows, the embers of the campfire swirl, forming a circle from which you can almost see a wretched form emerge, its body built of smoke and flame. It flows towards the gallows and forces its way into the hanging corpse of Kev Kev. Thank you. Kev, Kev? Nope. Um, uh, Madeline and Tapir, what did you channel? Bring out through the night as you were corralled back to the campfire. I Your have private conversations here. have come to an end. And Kev, Kev came back alive? Wait, Tyler, Tyler will call us cover something in just a second. Kev, Kev's body. What? What? <laughs> comes down no. from the gallows. He speaks in a croaky, fiery voice, <laughs> says his name is Uriah, and he's traveled a long way to be here with you. Proceed. Hello. Okay. I'm a really um, poor person. Please give me food and your votes. For what it's worth, I really don't want Laurent and Harmony to give up their votes, because I think they're both almost I mean, good. if Wildstar yeah, gives yeah. up her vote, we we're so rich. Wildstar. Wow, I have mean, you we can wait time? for Wildstar right? to give up her vote if we see if Alejo dies to the Moon Child or not. Like we can well, do that tomorrow. No, I want to kill okay. Alejo today. No, we make Wildstar give up her vote, and we decide based on that, right? Because if what if Wildstar is evil, right. we just don't execute Alejo, and we use. Want to do this. Yeah, I will also um, not express a preference beyond what I've already. Moonchild already picked Alejo. We already have. We can't undo that. I guess it makes sense for us to just not worry about the Wildstar. We Alejo. can. The Lycan can do that. But they, they already picked Alejo. Yeah. The Lycan you... can shut off the Moonchild kill. Yes. Yeah, yeah the oh, Lycan no. shuts off right. Moonchild. That's why we I'm saying we should get the vote now. Today. No, we can. We can get the vote based on the vote. See if we want to kill Alejo, and then if we don't kill, if we do kill Ale if we do execute Alejo, Fran, you can kill yourself to prove yourself. Um, the only caveat to that is, I know it's niche, but just because one oracle is evil doesn't necessarily mean the other is good. Oh, okay, so okay. I'm, I'm, I want to kill Alejo either way, to be honest. I'm just yeah. confused. Why but, do you want I mean, to kill Alejo either kill way? Alejo. Because the double claims is dead, and we can kill an evil player. Excuse me, town. The leaders of the camp are beginning to call for the beginning of curfew even earlier tonight. This is your second call for nominations. I want to execute uh, Madeline or Tapir. I'm happy to kill into any of those three. I agree. I, I really want Wildstar to give herself to the beggar. Kohav is still pushing against. Wait, David, can I, uh, uh, I have a question on the beggar? No, not a post. I I have a question on the beggar. Uh, did Kev Kev swap alignment? Could Kev Kev has, uh, has swapped alignment? That's a great They're question. Not tell us. Um, so for what it's worth, uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know if you heard the special but um, they replayed the well, tapes. Well, thank you, Tyler. You're welcome. Uh, you were actually the first one to enter the tent, not me. Oh, okay. So they... Jeez. I was told... I was asked whether I wanted to read the invocation of the traveler along the road to hell, and was spun quite a yarn. I... It didn't sound like he would have turned evil. It just sounded like a... Go for it, I please. don't know. I kind of trust Kev Kev. 
I don't think that I would have created an evil traveler. Wait, you were asked if you want to spin the yarn to I yeah. nominate Alejo. Kohav has nominated Alejo. Please tell us why. I was getting the Capelli's going to end the day if I don't do something feeling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone else was getting that vibe. Um, I would like to... Uh, ooh, I shouldn't have nominated Alejo because we might actually want to kill him. Um, I don't know if this is the best kill. I think good players in town are split on the way we want to do this. Um... Can Wildstar give her vote to the beggar before the vote is run? At this point, we are doing accusation and defense. So that's a no? That is a no, yes. That makes me sad. I'm sorry. Um, are you done? Is that the entirety of your accusation? I, I don't know if I want to kill this or not. I'm going to read chat. Uh, I'm in game chat. I'm not on the stream. Stop yelling at me. I can feel it in my bones. Five. <laughs> Alejo, what's your defense? Um, yeah, so there's two ways to play this. Either you execute me today, uh, in which case the moon child doesn't kill me, um, but you don't really know anything more than you already know, uh, or you opt not to execute me today, in which case the moon child still might not kill me if the lycanthrope kills someone. Um, but it also could kill me, and you learn something else. But if I'm a minion, my power lasts for another day. Um, that is pretty much the choice that you've got. Um, if obviously, if I survive another day, then you would have to execute me tomorrow. If there's, yeah, um, there's no way I'm holding the token. Um, this is up to town. I will not be voting for myself because I know I'm good. Um, but I also will not offer a serious defense. Voting will begin with Madeline. It'll take five to put Alejo on the block. I really don't want to go for him. Um, because everyone who I think is evil is pushing on this. That's very fair. I don't think Alejo is holding the the. He's definitely thing. not holding the token. Give my token to Kev Kev. Wildstar. I'm rich. I'm rich. Has given her token to Kev Kev. Kev Kev. Come with me. Yes. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Kev, Kev. I. I show you good. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. I have received good. Oh, okay. So oh. we just kill go through then. with this Alejo kill. Oh, yeah. That is nonsense, but kill me then. Thank okay. you, Wildstar. Uh, Fran, could you mm -hmm. consider not choosing yourself? Um, Why? I was tossing up between Madeline or Travis. I think uh, I'd rather I use known... Madeline out of those two. Yeah, I know same, nothing I'd about Madeline. I, okay. I know nothing about Travis, but Madeline is giving me bad vibes. Yeah, okay, Laurent. <laughs> Are there any I other nominations know. today? What if it's worth? Um, I don't really believe the balloonist just because from my point of view um, balloonist bounty hunter has been dreamed as drunk so that makes four outsiders so i'm gonna close the really day work. in five but, four um, three two, oh, the really? dream three. Yeah. Aleo is executed and does die and i can't confirm that this terrible situation that you are all in continues please go to sleep All right. So uh, if anybody who's following the mission objectives for the evil team, they have so far led to the death of one, two townsfolk, and they have kept the little monster token alive for three days. So one of three so far. Um, we'll see how the night goes for them. Let's go see Maddie and see what she's thinking. Hey, Madeline. Hello. Would you like to pick a player for me? I will pick Goose. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. All right.
right, so no, no pit hag. Now we got to go to Franimal. I think we allow Fakir to live, and we're going to show him another drunk. Let's get that Draper info to be really sus. Yeah, it's a good plan. Let's, let's go see Fran. The assassin would kill through the light, even the lycanthrope ability, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. All right, so let's go down. Hey, Fran. Hello. Would you like to pick a player? Uh, yes, I'd like to choose Madeline, please. All righty. Thank you so much. Thanks. Would you like to bring together our unholy host? Absolutely. Thank you. Is, you may each make one statement evil, to one another. Who is Evil Townsfolk? I present to Pierre. Drunk bounty hunter Sap. <laughs> Who's holding the token? Madeline. Travis? Oh. Elf. I'm sorry, Wildstar, could you say that again? Kevin. Kevin. No. Uh Travis. Mm. Travis or Kev. Okay. Travis. <laughs> Travis holds the token. Back to your individual cottages, you sweet things. They must think Kev Kev did change alignments. Do players have objective? Nope, not in this game. Not in this particular scenario. I guess. Yeah, I, I guess Wild starts forgetting the fact that she's now the spy. Maybe she's thinking that she's still the Baron. Yeah, she she must be, she must think something like that because um, Kev Kev did not change alignments. All right, no, he did not. Could he have? Oh wow! You'd have to tune in for future episodes of the Legacy yeah, campaign. Yeah, see what sort of weird mechanics will happen in the future. Let's go visit. Uh, yeah. Well, first let's pick who dies. Okay. Um, you we got a poisoned. We got a poisoned dreamer. Their best chance evils to, from my mind. Is to um, keep the keep, we think you keep the reckless alive. Yeah, yeah. Let's go for. I think Koab's fine. Yeah, Koab's a good one. Okay. All right. All right, and I'll bring us up to Travis. Travis, would you like to use your ability? Yeah. Bejbo. Thank you so much. All right, let's see. And we got to go visit the goose. Hello. Hey, please pick a player for me. Uh, Travis, please. You pick Travis and are shown either the poisoner or the drunk. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Would have preferred for him to have picked a good another player. yeah, a good player. Think, but seeing Travis as the drunk is actually the best thing that could have happened because a drunk balloonist would not have added an extra outsider. Yeah. So now worlds come out where he was poisoned when he chose Bejbo. Worlds come out where he's just evil. Worlds come out where the dreamer is the drunk and there is an evil, or they start thinking maybe you know he's the evil townsfolk. Yeah, six alive, two executions left. Uh, I think they're going to go for Madeline today. This will be interesting. Good morning, camp. You awaken in the pre-dawn hours to find that Kohav has died in the night. Really? And Ram, did you, did you just let Kohav. me live till final three? Hold on. Bejbo died in the night, or is he just dead? Kohav and Bejbo have died in the night. Why? Uh, assassin, baby. Feels bad. Oh. I was probably assassinated. I think I had more. Oh no, Bejbo had an empath zero. Yeah. Ron, who's your pick? Makes sense. Uh, Madeline. Oh. Uh, does anyone here think it's a bad idea for me to give my vote token to the beggar? 
Spare a dime for your better. I'm you so already poor. Had a dime. I already well, ate well actually, stars. Dime. Um, Spy bear and assassin works. Does anyone Alejo, think they were ever poisoned? Alejo, please. Um, Alejo, in your world, you, if the beggar said that wild star is good, then the beggar is probably evil if you're good. So it's all possible you'd be wild star is a spy. I'm not saying it's likely, but I'm saying it's possible. Oh, but it then is. we confirm it. Wait, but then why would she double claim? As I said, I'm not saying it's likely. Alejo, right now, it seems like you're evil. And if you both yeah. give, that'd be huge. It would confirm that one of you two is a spy, yes. I'm not even, I'm not necessarily even thinking that um, it confirms me because I don't, because I actually think that Kev Kev is probably the evil beggar at this stage. But it might what? give Tom some more. Why do you of, think he's you know, evil when he said, oh, I, I get I'm it? I'm not evil. Bezbro had a yes, question for it. Bezbro's good. Um, Bezbro had it tonight. Because, yeah, because, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, evil here. Oh, yeah, because uh, it makes sense for town to want both sides to be, like, to, to know for a fact that both sides are down one vote rather than uh, just one side and not being sure which, because one vote is more valuable to evil. Okay, I'll put it this way to town. If I'm evil, you know that Alejo or Wildstar 1 is evil. So in the worst case scenario, I and Alejo are evil. Well, then we have two extra votes. Wouldn't you rather the both double claims just give me the vote? So I can confirm yeah, that. I would much rather Alejo you're, give me the vote. If yeah, you're Kev evil, can't then Wildstar is good. Yeah, I can't use both. You you know for sure there's an evil vote down. I saying that Wildstar vote was good. Wildstar that assumes that evil. if I'm that evil, y'all don't have votes anymore. Just me and Alejo are both evil. You'd much rather both double claims just give their vote to me. That way... In the worst case scenario, you both are good, and I have no idea what's going on. Um, you can also exile me if you don't want the votes. You're basically getting rid of the double claim and their vote, which is strong. That's fair. Right? Sure. You also give yeah. me some info as to what Kev Kev Alejo, is doing. I haven't eaten in a year. Please. <laughs> Please spare me a dime. The first yeah, person who gives him a crap of food is out of this camp, you hear me? <laughs> oh. Alejo, do it. <laughs> Alejo, do I it. I would like to give Kev Kev a scrap of food. Kev Kev. Uh, Alejo gives Kev Kev a scrap of food. Oh, Kev, thank you. Come with us. Kev Kev? Yeah. We show you good. What the f- What? Oh, no. I don't know what's going on. Alejo has also been good. You all uh -oh. surprised <laughs> moving up the caravan. Uh, lights out will Fran? come before the sun even goes down. You have two minutes. I think Fran is evil town with goose covering, saying that there's a drunk in a bounty hunter. Yeah. Goose doesn't, yeah. goose doesn't need to be evil for that to happen, right? That's true. There could just be a living poisoner or whatever, but I'm, I'm just saying that that is, I think, what's happening because he wanted to deconfirm bounty hunter info. That's fair. Um, I think the evil teams, Madeline, Travis, and one of the oracles. Truck. Why Travis over Tapir? Uh, Tapir's is of weird. I agree, which is why I think he's probably poisoned. I think if he's evil, he could come up with way better info than that. I mean... That checks out. I, we should kill me and Goose. <laughs> uh, we only have two executions. So, so we have to be very careful. So we sussed Madeline yesterday, so I don't think she's holding the token today, right? Because yeah, we yeah. we were like Fran kill Madeline, right? So there was sus on her. So I Wait, think the, we, the non Madeline minion. Husband. Can we talk about something? If we we know that there's a spy and an assassin, basically, if we think there's a poisoner, that means that there's no Baron, which means that one of the outsider claims is lying. There doesn't have to be I, a spy, is what people are saying now. Why um, do we know there's a spy? I want, How did I get I want my info out there to help, because yeah. it's not public yet, and it's there's no reason for it not to be at this point. Uh, I'm Balloonist. I've seen, in order, Alejo Goose, Andrew Bishbo. So you're saying that Maddle, uh, hmm. I, Nominations I, are I open. Whispers are closed. I can. I think. Okay. I can think. I just, you guys can kill me today because I am out of info. And I think Andrew is really suspicious because I think it's probably a poisoner game, and I that means there's no Baron, 
And since there's no Baron, that means that, like, I don't think Andrew's telling the truth. Um, in my view, there should be three outside. Yeah, so. but I'm quite possibly the drunk. I don't think you are. I think that that is a minion trying to throw sauce on your aid, but we still haven't killed your single but, first But bang. the only spy um, could be, but... Hmm. Yeah, so if Goose... Goose would have to be the spy in that world because they call call my role, which has been confirmed in two But Goose chats. did talk to Wildstar I, day one. I think that Goose could be okay. spy, yeah, and talk to you um, as the evil. Hang on, if like, I talked no, to Wildstar day one, wouldn't I give her a bluff? I think it's not a double point. Friend, just been yeah, but Wildstar called. would be the spy, so you're not you're never the spy. Like Wildstar or Alejo is the spy. I see. Yeah, Goose can only be the spy mm. with some really, really mm. weird story from mm. the pet hack. Uh Coab, did you track day one whispers? No, I don't do that anymore. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, members so... of the caravan, this is your second call for nominations. I think Madeline think... should be asking we... because we had yes, an active assassin could, last night. Uh, Laurent, if you'd like. Yep. So, howdy, folks. I am the preacher. Time to teach y'all, like, the religion. Okay. So, here's my actions. I first go to Kev Kev because Kev Kev always sucks. Then I went to Fran because I heard of Bounty Hunter Pink. Then I went to Alejo because of the whole devil claim stuff. And then I went to Travis on recommendation. So... You preached Alejo before he gave his vote token? Like, I preached. Mm. No, I, I'm clarifying the timeline. Yes, that would be correct. So Wait, if Madeline is telling the truth and preached Alejo before they gave their vote token, then Alejo isn't the spy. Wait, Madeline, you preached uh, me? You preached me? Yeah, on because night one. on night one. Yeah. I was. Oh, on night Andrew, one. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Andrew nominates Travis. Andrew has nominated Travis. Tell us why. Uh, I think we're running out of time. Of the people in the group, I'm most suspicious of Travis. I'm also okay dying here because I think this is the last chance for me to be killed. Um, so I'd be okay with that if we think that's better. But I wanted to make the nomination on Travis. Travis, what's your defense? I'm happy to die today. I have all my info. Um, I want to catch out Fran because I believe that they've just been safely keeping the little monster on the evil townsfolk this whole game. Yeah, and I think Travis is good, actually. The vote will begin with We're... Kohav. It'll take three to put Travis This is a lot of line. votes. Yeah. How oh, is a lot hands of votes? Went yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hands, hands went down. Hands went down. Oh, yeah, and must be a the only person to isn't voting as Madeline, who I think is the other evil. Okay. I think the evil team voted on that. Let's talk about outsiders. Yeah. So, Can we get enough Travis the evil team the voted on that, then Madeline should, Madeline or we, Travis should nominate me. We should have. Who? Goose? We should have two outsiders. We have three people claiming outsider and a possible drunk. If the balloonist is true, we should have three outsiders. If there's a baron, we should have four. I, 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 I personally trust if Andrew there's Laurent, Kev, Kev. a balloonist and a baron, we should have five. No one is claiming saint, so we don't have five. We either have three or four. So if, if you are the balloonist, you don't trust Andrew or Bejbo or Goose, one of those three, because Goose is saying we have a drunk, Andrew is a living outsider, Bejbo would have been the drunk Goose saw, but I guess it's Goose or Andrew. Does that in, make sense? Yeah, in my worldview, Goose is the minion, but the two that were up yesterday as suspicious people were me and Goose, so I don't believe he's holding the token. I think we catch it out with Fran here. That's where um, I'm at. Because we need to get it on the less suspicious person the day that we kill the little monster. This is going to be the nominate. final call for nominations. Travis will nominate Fran. We Travis. can see if Fran dies in the night. What? Travis was what? okay to die, but still wants to nominate someone else. Travis, your accusation, please. Uh, I think that we have to catch out the uh, evil townsfolk on the day that it's holding it. Um, I'm also okay to die, 
but we only have one execution left after this, and I think that Goose and Fran are going to be two living evils in Final 3. Fran, please state your defense. I strongly suspect that three out of four of Madeline Travis, Kev Kev, and one of the Oracles will be voting on this to tie the vote. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the Oracles. Oh. Voting will commence with yeah. Goose, so it'll take yeah, three Kev's to leave. Mm. We could exile Kev so he doesn't have... Kev, why are you tying this? No, this I is think it's tying. Kev, 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 alignment. Kev, 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 down. Kev, Kev, alignment. Oh my gosh. There's no Hold style. on. I was yeah, putting it up minion. in case Andrew wants to vote two. Oh, okay, I'm okay. not going to tie it. Okay. Two is not enough. Any more nominations? Wait, no, seven. I think it's probably oh, Andrew then on the pattern. The nominates. You can nominate. nominate. All right, then Madeline nominates Andrew. Andrew. Madeline, please state your case. Well, realm of possibilities. Let's test it up. Andrew, what's your defense? Um, if there's good suspicion on me, this is her last chance to do this. I am okay with it. Um, nothing else. It'll take three to tie, four to beat. Voting starts with Bejbo. Um... Yeah, so Lycan stops uh, wants to kill. Oh, doesn't. All right, one is not enough. Fran, why didn't you target yourself last night? Um, I'm going to close today in five, four, three, two, uh, Kill yourself one. tonight? Yeah, sure. Travis is brought before you all and hung by the neck. And he dies. Once his last breath expels from his body, a almost uterine sack falls what? out of his mouth. <laughs> he <Ew>. has been <laughs> Gross. feeding some of your own camp to this hideous, monstrous baby. It scurries <sighs> off into the woods as you try to stomp at it, but it slides past your defenses and off into the darkness. My uterine sack, no. Oh. <laughs> I can't confirm that the good team has won. Yay! 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 That was yeah. a mess. Uh, okay. We got there. I'm, I'm not evil. Why do you think I mean, that's broken if I turn evil midway through the game? <laughs> if you voted on Fran, we to think to you're play. evil. I'm not even trying. It wasn't even up to me. doing it to me. Yes. Alejo was your oracle who was shown uh, zeros, but was shown a one when Wildstar was killed. Uh, Madeline was your poisoner who poisoned uh, Fran on night one to no effect, Laurent on night two, then back to Fran, which stopped a, a lichen throat kill, and then on to Pier on, or Goose the night that Goose selected Travis. Travis was your originally a pit hag, uh, turned himself into an assassin. Um, was shown to the the dreamer as a drunk slash poisoner. We thought that might help confound that information a little bit. But didn't turn out to be so. Uh, Wildstar was originally the Baron who was changed by Travis the Pit Hag into the spy. Was shown. I genuinely oh, forgot happened. Yeah. I was <laughs> dead a long time. Yeah, so I think Wildstar. <laughs> I think Wildstar believed that that uh, Kev Kev was evil on that basis, but uh, we showed Kev. I thought he was good. Lying. Okay. But I also thought we were going to lose. <laughs> Good call. Uh, Kohav was your fisherman who we showed to trust the every night information role. We thought that might, uh, obviously, it helped the dreamer information, um, the, the oracle balloonist? information, and then the, maybe a little bit of the balloonist. But technically, and Capelli was right on this, the balloonist is not an every night information role, it's a four night information role. Fine. That's what I said about the bounty hunter, too. <laughs> yep. Uh, I feel validated. Oh, damn. And I'm the drunk, right? Uh, Rick, Andrew was the recluse. Bebo was the drunk bounty hunter. Uh, Harmony was your empath, shown as zero. Laurent was the moon child who picked Alejo, but Alejo was already dead. Kev Kev was your original mutant uh, turned beggar. Uh, Fran was your lycanthrope who selected... Let me make sure I get my order right. They selected Harmony. Then they selected uh, Alejo. Then they selected Madeline. And then that was the end of the game. Uh, Goose was your dreamer who saw 
Every information right except for the night that they, he was poisoned. And that was your game of the Heart of Darkness. Thank you for playing. Thanks poison for having me, guys. Poison. poison. Say it again. Yeah, poison. He yeah. was poisoned that night. Mm -hmm. Fran was poisoned the night he selected Alejo. Yeah, for a minute there, I did think he was actually the evil <laughs> downspoke. Uh, no. Who did Travis assassinate? Me or Bejbo? Uh, oh, Bejbo, Bejbo, actually. <laughs> I'm glad you died, though. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Because <laughs> that was a problem. Um, Wildstar, did you already have a hard claim locked in? Because I was really surprised you got in a double claim the day after I turned you Yeah, down. I did. That's why oh, I, I was hoping you backpedal. Very oh. aggressively rejected the token. No! <laughs> <laughs> Big rip. I mean, I'm glad I did. We thought you might pivot into another role after you got the Grim. Yeah. But, um, I was hoping. I you stuck thought about board. it. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Okay. I mean, going, uh, I am also one of those three was a bold play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't really know yeah. what else I like, could possibly do. If it do. worked, it would have been great. Fran, Chad was really a, 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 amazed at Fran's unkillability. Yeah. Several yeah. failed kills, yeah. a, a bounty hunter ping on him, uh, with Empath backing up the bounty hunter. But a dreamer confirmed day one was really strong. I thought if Fran was evil, he was just a spy, but I think Fran's right. So <laughs> hard no, and just like, no. no, but the way the dreamer confirm went down oh, yeah. was very natural oh, and oh, didn't yes, feel right. evil. Tyler, that's unfortunate. Shall we reveal the results of the game? Yeah, yeah. we didn't get our uh, we didn't achieve our goals <laughs> at all. Uh, no, no, we <laughs> tried. The, the evil worst. team ended up, uh, the evil team completed two of their three goals. Um, so they were they were asked to keep the little monster token safe for three plus days to feed it three plus good townsfolk, which they ended up doing, uh, and to get the lycanthrope specifically executed. Try it. Um, so hard. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what what I, when I saw that Fran was a lycanthrope, I saw Fran was a lycanthrope, I'm just like, not happening. Not, yeah. not easily, anyway. He's, he's too survivable. <laughs> God damn it. Um, you were I think Tyler was there, but my first whisper was a Bejbo, and he said Fran's a lycanthrope. Oh, he, Fran was the evil pink, and I said word for word to Bejbo, well, that's going to be hard to chill. But we'll try. <laughs> yeah. And then he said those words, and I was just like, it's gonna be miserable to try and kill Fran. It's not gonna happen, but we'll try. Yeah, I got Fran, and I was like, I mean, you can watch it back. I'm like, well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> well, we appreciate y'all playing, um, and we look forward to next week because despite your success at ferreting out these particular traders, um, the woods that you've entered into are thick and violent and acting against you in every single way. So stay tuned for our intrepid adventures as they make their way to the top of what will be Ravenswood Bluff. We'll send them off in the night, Capelli. <laughs>